Okay, you guys don't know what this is. It's a mantle that Kale and I built for our old house a few years back. And I never wanted to deconstruct it because I wanted it to mean something. So I thought it'd be pretty cool if I used it for my deep freeze project. Um, so I'm gonna deconstruct it and I kind of already measured everything and I'll show you what I have in mind. Hold on. Let's take our board. I'll show you what I am planning on doing. Here's the rest that I'm gonna need. They're perfect size too. They just hang off the edges just a little bit. So I think it's gonna work. Envision with me, okay? Just bear with me. This is not perfect, but I got this. I'm gonna sand all of these down really, really good. I don't know what stain or anything I'm gonna do uh, to make it pretty, but that's gonna work and we'll just do it all the way around. I love using recycled wood for stuff. Uh, these thicker panels are from some vintage wood from my old shop and a couple of them are from uh, an old bed that we found in our basement when we moved in here. So I like taking recycled wood and turning it into something cool. Everyone I've ever known has always complained about sanding, but I kind of like it because it's like, it's really satisfying to see the difference. Like, you'll see. I'll just do a time lapse on this so you don't have to listen to me talk. Ha, ah, just kidding. You're gonna have to listen to me talk. So while I'm doing this, I kind of just got flashbacks of all of the woodworking I used to do. I used to do quite a bit. Kale had any kind of tool you can imagine to do woodworking with and he taught me everything I know. We used to sell like crafts at a craft show. We did that one year and spent months like making all of these cool wood projects. Now it's like really bittersweet because I have every tool that you could ever dream of to do woodworking and uh, they kind of still don't feel like my tools, you know? Anyway, it was really hard to get this uh, stain off of here because this is some pretty old wood that was, you know, for a bed, I guess. And uh, that stain's been on there for many, many years. So I didn't get it off completely on the knots, but I kind of like the way it made those knots look dark. I'm debating if I want to keep this a raw wood kind of look and then just seal it with poly, but I don't know, I just, I love the look of raw wood at the moment. I'm seeing a lot of people do this to their cold plunges and uh, I never see any shine to them. Like I'm wondering if people are sealing them really good or not. I'm not planning on letting water seep over onto it. That's the thing, I have to be really careful because I don't want that. But uh, hopefully, you know, stuff happens and hopefully I can keep the water off. Um, this one's really satisfying. This piece that I'm sanding right now came from that mantle that we made. So it turned out really, really pretty. So I can't find my little jig at the moment. So do not judge me for doing this side, but I'm just so excited. I'm just ready to see what it looks like with these panels on it. Because who knows what I need it. Oh, I love it. It's kind of warped, but 
I kind of like that because it kind of gives it some uh, character. Oh, I can't talk. But let me get this last piece on. Oh, I have to cut some wood actually. All right. Today, Satan. All right, so we're gonna call it. 